Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new stream of Road to TG World 2019. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you are live with me on Twitch, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, so, this weekend we had two regionals. Two regionals and... Sorry, give me one second. We had two regionals, one was expanded, one was standard. Um, hello, MB, Destroyer King, Luis, The Real Butter, and S10, and Pavolo. We had two regionals, one expanded, one standard, both featured some really interesting decks. I already showed the Zora Gyarados that ended up winning the standard event in the UK. And much likes and cream lover, thank you so much for the host. Um, we did have Sorry. Um, I did show the Zorg Gyarados deck yesterday, it worked out pretty good, and this deck ended up getting, um, I believe, 30, uh, top 32, I think, might have been top 64 at the event. I thought it was a very, very interesting um, list and a very fun concept because it has one, two, three, four different, five different stage two Pokemon. Right, and then a bunch of tech basics, and the idea is to deck your opponent out. Now, take a look at this. So we have um, Meganium with its quick ripening herb, which um, its ability you get to choose one of your basic Pokemon in play, and you get to play a stage two onto it once during your turn. So you can evolve another Chigorita into Meganium. You can evolve Charmander into Charizard GX. You can evolve Rhyhorn into Rhyperior. You can evolve um, Mokib into Swampert and you can evolve Oddish into Vileplume. So you have a lot, a lot of options. Number one is right here, which with its ability Toppling Win, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. So that's mostly how we're going to try and um, get rid of our opponent's um, cards from their deck. But we also have Charizard GX's GX attack, Raging Out GX, which says you can discard the top 10 cards of your opponent's deck. So a really cool concept. Um, we don't have to wait until they have zero cards in hand, or rather zero cards in deck. We can wait for them to have 10 or 11, and then we use Raging Out, and that should be enough to um, help us in winning the match. Now we have... Um, a lot of ways to try and prevent our opponents from damaging us so that we can survive long enough in order to um, deck our opponents out. Number one is Vileplume with Disgusting Pollen ability. Once this Pokemon is active, your opponent's basic Pokemon cannot attack. Therefore, Blasevolon can't do anything to you. Um, Tapuleles can't do anything to you. Uh, Buzzle can't do anything to you. So, really cool card, really good defensive measure. Then we also have um, two Alolan Vulpix with Beacon, which will help us set up. But we also have the Luminous Barrier Alola Nine Tails, which prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX. So, a really cool concept there. Then we also have Shuckle GX with its protective shell to make it so that Pokemon that have two or less energy cannot damage the shuckle and we even have mr mime gx with his magic events ability which prevents all damage done to his pokemon by your opponent's attack if that damage is exactly 20 40 60 etc up to 260 and even the life trick gx attack could end up being um a decent attack for that last turn or whatever uh, but it's mostly all of these pokemon are there for their protective ability and then we also have Suicune, which with its Phantom Wind attack, um, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle it and all cards attach it into your deck. So basically, it's like the um, fossil Pokemon from Expanded. You, you never deck yourself out. You have the Suicune as your last card, you draw it, you bench it, you shuffle it back, you draw it, you bench it, you shuffle it back. So you can never, you literally can never deck yourself out. How is this deck going to work? Well, we have a 2 2 line of Swampert. So that power draw gets us the cards that we need. And then we have um, 
for our supporters for Steven's results so that we can get going and pick the cards that we end up needing. We have Triple Lusamine to recycle the Steven's and the Acerolas. We have two Clarions in case we prize the Super Boost Energy, which is crucial, and even the Rainbow Energy because the Rainbow Energy placing one damage counter and then Acerola being able being able to pick up the right period, that's how we are going to recycle the ability. We also have Pot Down so that when we evolve one of our Pokemon, aka right here, it has damage, therefore Acerola can pick it back up. Um, we also have Super Scoop Up to pick up the right period. And then we have four Nest Ball and four Ultra Ball to set up, double Rescue Stretcher to get back um, Pokemon that we might need. The Single Enhanced Hammer, which can be good in, si in different situations to delay our opponent's attacks double um, brooklet heal because we do have a bunch of water type pokemon that are very useful and all of these are um, stadium counters as well which is great and then we have triple door candy of course to set up so steven's resolve is going to be the key card for this deck which allows us to search for three cards keep them into our hand and then our turn ends but if we get to keep them we should be able to set up pretty nicely getting the chigori hunter one is going to be a priority i'm not sure um, how this deck is going to work in practice, but it did do decently well at the regional and then it got all the way to the final of the cup of the regional. So let's check it out, shall we? I feel like it's going to be a really cool concept. Um, yeah, it came second at the 150 plus cup as well. Meganium decks are so crazy indeed. Uh, Mareta, hello, thank you so much for being here. It's been a long time indeed. And um, yeah. We'll see how this goes. Big props to, I believe, Alessandro Cremascoli, um, who created and worked on this deck, or basically the Italian players group. So big shout out to them. Now we end up losing the coin flip. That's okay. I'll just bring this here. And then we start the Chikorita. And a couple of really good cards as well. Probably gonna have to discard the Charizard. We do have two stretchers, so it shouldn't be a problem. And then depending on my opponent's deck, we will just have to adapt. Wow, my opponent just draw passes. So Rainbow Burn does 30 damage plus more damage. Does 30 more damage for each type of basic energy attached to this Pokemon, so... We are going to have to use probably Valplum in order to prevent this ho o from attacking us. Um, I don't see how my opponent can attack me next turn by attaching three energy to this ho -Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Mudkip here, right? Oh, Brooklet also grabs Rykon, that's actually incredible. So I'm gonna grab that. And then with the Ultra Ball, I'm gonna discard Suicune and Lusamine. And I'm gonna go ahead and if I'm greedy, I set up a Rhycorn. If I'm not very greedy, I just set up another Chikorita. And I feel like the other Chikorita is better, right? The other Chikorita should be better just to be extra, extra safe. And then we'll go ahead and Steven's resolve. We are going to grab Meganium, Rare Candy, and Swampert. I think that is the plan. That is not a Swampert Pablo. So, key cards being prized, the Charmander is prized, the Charmander is prized, in case we need that to close out the game. Uh, 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 um. Wonder Candy is prized as well, one Super Scoop Up, one Stretcher, that's four of our prizes. Uh, the Poe Town is prized as well, and a Stevens. So those are our six prize cards. So we could and Charizard in the same deck indeed. With Brock's grid getting a reprint, decks like this with Lusamine are going to be insane indeed. Benjay, <laughs> thank you so much. How are you doing? We see a Dark Energy attachment and a Cynthia. My opponent could not have top deck either one of those. Like both of them, right? So either he was choosing not to attach or he was choosing to I don't know. I did have a good trip to Anaheim, uh, didn't get the best result I guess, but got some championship points which is nice. And IIA clap, <laughs> thank you so much for being here as well. We see Shockle discarding different energy, not sure 
Not sure how my bone powers up the ho, -ho but we got to keep our hand, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and evolve the bench meganium, just in case something happens to this Chigorita. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use quick ripening herb to evolve my mudkip into Swampert. And then definitely wanna Brooklet heal for the Rhycorn now. Right? Definitely wanna Brooklet heal for the Rhycorn and then Nest Ball for potentially the other Rhycorn. Potentially the other Chikorita, however. Nah, probably the other Rhycorn. And then we have the third Lusamine, so I think the card I'm gonna get rid of here is the Lusamine off of the power draw. And there's a stretcher. Don't need the Suicune back. So let's go ahead and Gladian. The prizes are indeed what I um, mentioned. Don't think I want the rare candy. I think I'd rather just grab the super scoop up. Because if I flip heads, I can go out into full fix and that would be nice. Or I could just grab the Stevens and be safe for next turn. Yeah, Stevens feels better than flipping. This is a slow and steady deck, so we should be okay here. And then I might need to set up the Vile Boom as well, so that's gonna be important. Okay, so. Um, what deck did I use at Anaheim Crimson? I used Archie's Blastoise in the end. I was between Archie's Blastoise or Zorark Mock, as you guys might have seen on Saturday's video, and I ended up going with uh, Archie's Blastoise in the end. Um, I was staying with Sam Chen, he convinced me that it was a very good choice. Um, MVB, have I seen the new art of reprinted cards in Tackfold? No, I have not, or I don't know which card specifically you're talking about. Okay, so I top deck another Stevens. Do you want a Brooklyn heal for something? Probably not. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the Vulpix and then if I do want to, I'll just Brooklyn heal for the other Vulpix. Um, let's keep the Nest Ball to power draw away. So then let's Brooklyn heal. Yeah, let's Brooklyn heal for the Vulpix. If we lose the Chigorita, that's fine. If we flip heads here, that would be pretty cool. We do. So we're gonna be able to use Beacon. Or, and uh, yeah, Steven's result is probably better here. Yeah, Steven's result has to be better than Beacon, I think. Or is it? Maybe it's not, actually. There's no way for me to easily switch other than Acerola. Okay, I'm gonna Steven's resolve. Am I? I'm very confused here. Yeah, I'm gonna Steven's resolve. Okay, so I definitely want Oddish and Vileplume. And I think the other Meganium. I think those are the three cards I want here. So we're being a bit patient on the decking out. I just want to make sure I have protection against whatever my opponent has, and then you go, you work towards the deck out strategy. Um, cards like Field Lore and Choice Band are reprinted as hollows in that set. Wow, that's pretty cool. Where is that information out? And Schmidt, which decks are on for the day after this one? So after this one, we have White Kyurem. Yeah, we have White Curem with Substrika, which got ninth place at the regional in Harrogate. And then we're moving to Expanded, where we're going to be featuring Vespico and Florian and the Lucario deck that made top eight. Yeah. Double Meganium and Double Swamper is a good way to play with the deck, I Caterpie. I Caterpie is the, um, the person who made a report on this deck, so huge props to them on making the deck. Um, Double Meganium and Double Swampert, the feed out of reach for us. I think I'm gonna promote the Swampert, that feels like it should be able to take a hit here. Because with another energy, my opponent deals 150, so that's 10 short. Okay, so let's go ahead and use Quick Ripening Herb on the Chikorita over here. And... 
then I'm gonna go ahead and power draw the Enhanced Hammer. That's clearly a card that's not going to be useful in this. Uh, we get Shockle, which is not great. We do get an Ultra Ball, so we could start decking my opponent out. I think I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna discard these two. I'll grab the right pier just so that I can use oh, the game. I guess I could have uh, Brooklet healed and Ultra for a second Swamp Bird. That could have been a good idea. That was probably the better idea. Maybe you don't need double right here. <laughs> Thank you, I got her be a pretty cool idea. It's definitely a really cool deck to see in action. Okay, so I'm gonna bench the Oddish now, and I think I'm gonna Steven's Resolve this time around. So I'm gonna ace her Ola for sure. The Swampert. So I'll grab the other right here, so I have double right here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Rainbow Energy, and I think I'm gonna grab the Lusamine. Um Vapo will be able to take hits from to take at least one hit from the Alona Executor. Ah, so then I needed the Shockle. Like I need Vapo against this, and I need Alola and Executor against the Execute. Um, yeah, the Devolve Synergy is with a Serola and the Rainbow Energy and Potom indeed. Sir Pandage, as you mentioned. Um, JGB, thank you so much. <laughs> Glad to be back as well. Um. Yeah, there's a secret rare Brooklet heal as well. Okay. So my one must be really confused. Devil Spray would be amazing with Meganium and Rapier probably. Perhaps at some point we'll have to set up the Charizard play, so definitely gonna need to find that second Gladian at some point. Wow, my opponent didn't even attack, so there's something wrong happening here. Um, my opponent probably went AFK. You guys didn't tell me to fix the Pokemon, for the Pokemon Sprite guys. It's very important. I didn't notice it's still Gyarados. So there's Meganium. And then we'll do this. Oh, okay, so MHQ is here in chat and he says he lost internet, so the game will be ending sometime soon. So with Icutter B here, we're gonna definitely focus on what he's telling us, which is getting out double Meganium, double Swampert, and then working from there. Definitely the double Swampert, I can see how it's pretty, pretty important. This is indeed a mail deck. So I'll lose something for these two, and then there's a victory. Okay, so let's find another match. Let's find another match, and let's go for the double Meganium, double Swampert setup. I guess double Swampert makes sense, because then it's like you have three Zoroarks in play. But you have to discard one card less. So, yeah. Let's call a coin flip here. Okay, pretty, pretty bad hand, honestly. Um, but at least we can go for Vulpix. At least we can go for Vulpix here. Because we can attach the rainbow, Acerola back, the Rhyhorn, um, double Nest Ball for uh, Chikorita and Mudkip, right? Oh, I mean, you had energy switch and I got a Del for that last attack. Okay, that would have been an issue. That would have definitely been an issue. Okay, so we're up against Malamar. Malamar is spread. Which is probably a bad matchup for this, I would assume. Maybe not. Acrobike. Okay, and then we see the pass. So my record not to threaten. I even top deck the full picks, which is pretty good. 
So definitely want to set up a Chigorita. Definitely want to set up a Modkip and Mancha. Thank you so much for the M&Ms. <laughs> Very kind of you. Very kind of you to send the 25 M&Ms. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so Vulpix, Rainbow Energy. Rainbow Energy plus a Sorola in the initial hand is pretty nice. Pretty lucky for sure. Let's go ahead and play the Vulpix. I might. Huh. Should I play the Rhyhorn down perhaps? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll beacon. And then I'm gonna grab Meganium and I'm gonna grab Swampert. So we're gonna get going pretty pretty nicely here. What does Rhyperior do? Rhyperior, when you evolve um, into Rhyperior, you get to uh, choose if you want to discard three cards from your opponent's um, top deck or not. And thank you so much for the follow MHQ. Thank you so much for the follow. And Manchas, <laughs> 13 more. 13 more bits, one for each, um, one for each uh, championship of America. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much. Okay, so my opponent does go for the Marshadow, uh, which completely, completely ruins our hand. This is where not having the Alolan Ninetales GX feels a bit awkward, I guess. Um, Yeah, Valblom should be, should be in theory an easy win here. Not if we don't manage to set up though. So I'm gonna have to beacon here for the Lele for sure. I have to beacon for the Lele and and what else? Probably another Mudkip to be extra safe in case my Mudkip goes down, right? In case my opponent goes Guzma, KO Mudkip. Okay, so this is gonna be a very hard fought battle. My opponent has so many energy in the discard pile. Ready to go. He's gonna immediately go ahead and uh, take a knockout on the Vulpix, right? Yeah, I just feel like a little Ninetales GX immediately gives you the rare candy which is always a hard card to find, right? For the deck to work, you just need to find that one rare candy to set up the the Vile Bloom, or the Meganium rather, because Meganium lets the deck fully um, fully set up. Okay, so which Pokemon are we promoting here? I think it's gonna be the Rhyhorn. After we establish the Vile Bloom, it should be fine. Okay, and that Steven's Resolve top deck actually means I might not even need to play down the Tapu Lele. My opponent shouldn't be able to get rid of my hand next turn, so that's good. There's no way for me to set up a Nodish this turn. Okay, I'm definitely gonna... No, I don't do something. Never mind. Okay, so Steven's Resolve here for Meganium, Rare Candy, and Swampert. It has to be those three cards. It 100% has to be those three cards. We do have the Oddish, so eventually we will be able to set that up. We can drop Lele for another Stevens next turn. Uh, my opponent needs an energy attachment to knock out the Rhyhorn. Uh, the spreading strategy, I feel, would be a lot more effective against us, potentially. But my opponent will just try to aggro us out. Well, I guess once we get Valplum, it doesn't matter. He has to focus on the Malamars. So, this is gonna be pretty okay. I hope. Like, eventually, we, w we should be able to stabilize after we use these Stevens. We should be able to stabilize. We see a Guzma out for a Chigorita, understandably so. Right? Understandably so. So good thing we have that second Chikorita. Okay. So definitely the disposable card here is the Rhyhorn. We might not even need to use right here. We'll just need to attack once with Charizard GX. So let's go and rare candy the Chikorita. And then with Chikorita, we are going to use quick ripening herb onto the Swampert. 
What does Vileplume do? Vileplume, with its disgusting Pokemon ability, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon cannot attack. Why does 60 HP mod give instead of 70 HP? It should be 70 HP. Um, I just copied this from Shintaro's list and uh, updated it. So it should be the 70 HP mod kit for sure. Um, so then I think I'm going to power draw the Lele. I don't want to have any GXs in play. I don't want to have any GXs in play. And wow, we actually get the Oddish. So I can't bench the Oddish. Huh, but there's no way for me to switch into the Oddish. So maybe I take the risk. If it gets Kuzma though, that would be bad. Maybe my opponent won't know what he's playing against. I'm gonna bench the Oddish. I think I have to. Because there's no switching cards here. Other than Super Scoop Up, but I don't wanna rely on a flip. So oh, I should have probably Yeah. I should have rescue stretchered back the Chigarita. Okay, it's fine. So let's grab the other Swampert, right? So we have access to pretty much all of our deck. And then let's go ahead and grab what else? Double Swampert, and then what else do we grab? Perhaps the other Chikorita and other Meganium? That seems okay. Rainbow and Acerola? Why do I want Rainbow and Acerola though? I think I'm gonna grab these. Why do I want Rainbow and Acerola, I can't be. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed the rare candy. That way I could have gotten out um, both of the stage twos, right? I used Meganium for the other Meganium, and then I used Meganium for the Swampert, and then I rare candy into Vileplum. So I should have grabbed the rare candy, actually. Uh, but then I can't Stevens for four cards. Oh, but the Chigurita can be a rescue structure. So I should have grabbed Meganium, Swampert, and rare candy, I think. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, if he if he KOs the Oddish, then with Rainbow and Acerola, I could have done that. Um, Acerola, Rescue Stretcher for the Oddish, set up the Valplum, and then um, I get it active. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so yeah, the Acerola plus Rainbow Energy would have been the better cards here. Doesn't seem like my opponent has the Guzma. Well, I, I guess I don't know. Never mind. We actually don't know. There's a Cynthia, so usually the spread decks don't run for Guzmas, I don't think. Once we get the Valplum out, it's gonna be game. I really hope we can use Charizard GX in the attack, though. I really hope we can do that. Okay, so the Rhyhorn is gone. Now, basically, all I need is. Um, the Charizard, and then we're gonna be fine. So, first up, I'm gonna bench the Chigorita. I'm gonna use Quick Ripening Herb onto the Meganium. This match is tough. Uh, potentially, but once we get this Vileplum out, I think we're gonna be pretty okay. Maybe I should have been trading first. Well, no, it's not trading, I guess. Maybe I should have been power drawing first. Um. We have a Rhyhorn, we have a Super Scoop Up. I think I'm just gonna go for the Charizard pieces now. Charizard pieces. I can't grab. Yeah, I need way too many cards. Yeah, it should be GG. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Charizard pieces. Let's. I hope we get to Raging Out GX. My opponent literally cannot attack me. So I'm gonna use the Charizard pieces, set that up, and then I'm gonna um, hopefully power draw into, um, like perhaps not this turn, but the following turn, I'm gonna power draw into Acerola plus Rainbow Energy. And we see the Guzma, that is fine. Um, well, my opponent will decide to take a price card. Completely understandable. This is where the 70 HP matters, I guess, but he had energy to Psychic Recharge, so it technically doesn't make a difference. Promote the Vile Bloom. 
Guzma still gets an attack, yes, but Guzma, like getting an attack off doesn't win my opponent the game. He's still at two prizes. So that's the thing, right? That is the thing. So let's try and finish this off as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Rhyperior, right? I could potentially win this turn. Here's how. I'm gonna Rhyhorn. If I flip heads, I win this turn. When I use Rhyperior, discard the top three, and then I'm gonna bench the Charmander, use the other, Meganium, and Henry, eight months in a row. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. There's a Charizard, so let's see if we can flip heads here. We can, awesome. <laughs> so now we're gonna use Burnout GX. Dylan, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very, very kind of you. And then we have five stage twos in play. We're gonna use Raging Out. Discard the top 10 cards from my opponent's deck. Get a damage counter in between turns, but we got rid of 13 cards and that's the game. Why not wait? On evolve until you know the flip lethal damage. I mean, Charizard has so much HP. My opponent has nothing in play that can one to kill the Charizard. There's no, um, there's no reason to. So yeah, Dylan, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you so much for the orange M&M. &M. Thank you so much for the orange M&M. &M. Okay, so let's play another game. That was pretty, <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Okay. Uh, Benjay, the deck list. If I catch her, he's still here and wants to link to his uh, deck list or his Facebook post and or video as well from YouTube. Um, he can show you otherwise after this game. Remind me and I can show the deck list. Yeah. Um, this deck looks legit better than your current mill list, but then you lose your excuse to play Articuno Bird Boy. I mean, Charizard is kind of a bird. <laughs> right? Charizard is kind of a bird. Thank you so much, Dylan, for the 100 bits. Okay. I would like to go first. And we start Vulpix, we start Rhyhorn, and we can Ultra Wolf for Lele for... Um, Ultra Wolf for Lele for Steven, so that's pretty nice. Don't need to bench the Rhyhorn yet. Alex, do I think that Pikachu and Sacrum GX will be good with Electro Power and Tapu Koko Brism Start? I do, I definitely do. And wow, my opponent starting the Marsh Shadow is actually pretty good for us. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, that was a great top deck as well. I'm gonna go ahead and Brooklet for the Mudkip. Um, and then the Lele is in there. I can double Ultra Ball, which I think is what I should do. I can double Ultra Ball for Chikorita and for Lele for Stevens. So I think that's the right play here. Because then I'm going to be um, really nicely set up, right? Because I can go for Rare Candy Meganium and Swampert on turn two. There's the Stevens. And there you go, I Caterpie just posted his um, his thing. Thank you so much for the follow. This is a mill deck indeed, Dylan ADR. Thank you so much for the follow. Let's go ahead and Stevens, and then let's grab Meganium, Swampert, and Furry Candy. Maybe instead of the Swampert, I should grab another Stevens though. That feels better. The Swampert is a bit ish I guess. Stevens is better because it gives me three targeted cards. And Sober gives me three random cards and I have to discard whatever I end up top decking. And if I don't top deck something good, then I would be stuck. And Sergi, thank you so much for the uh, Charizard. Um, that was a GG. <laughs> you, you knew it was coming, right? I mean, I still needed to flip heads. Right. I feel like one switch could be good in this. I got your P, thank you so much for the follow as well. Okay, my opponent 
chooses to just forego any sort of setup. He's playing a Septile deck. So... Um, Shuffle GX will probably be pretty decent here. Has it turned one Lily? Right, has it turned one Lily? So this is a Septile GX deck. Um, we'll net both for the Trico. And then my opponent's playing two Marshadows, so we're gonna get our hand Marshadowed back. Which I feel is like it's kind of fine because we have Vulpix and we have more Stevens. But once again, like, I lost a rare candy doing this, right? I went all in on my hand on turn one. And um, now I can't beacon for a lot of nine tails to guarantee that rare candy. Like, imagine, what, no matter what I get next turn, if I had the... Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, if I had the Alola nine tails GX, I would be able to Brooklet heal for another Vulpix and then beacon for the nine tails and the Meganium. Or nine tails and Swampert. Probably the Meganium, and then I'd be able to to pull that off. Um, one of Switch would be pretty good as well. And hello, Paul. All's good. Thank you. How about you? There are two Caterpie TCG channels on YouTube. Wow. Okay. Okay. So we got the word candy. That's pretty fortunate. That is pretty fortunate. I definitely think I Brooklet Heal for a Mudkip, right? And then I'm not scared of my Vulpix going down next turn, I don't think. Um, everything takes two energy to attack. Well, the only way my opponent could do it is Rare Candy into Septel GX, knock out Vulpix. Um, I don't need to bench the Rhyhorn. I'm just going to Beacon for Meganium and Swampert. Now if my Chikorita goes down. My, opponent, my opponent's best case scenario is Rare Candy, Septel GX, Grass, Guzma. If that's his four cards or his... Four out of five cards, then nothing we can do about this. Uh, lethal damage, any tech video in English by chance? I mean, this will be going up on YouTube very, very soon after I'm done with the, with the stream. So you can look forward to that over at youtube.com slash table one. Yeah, with a full deck explanation and everything. Oh, please don't have judge. Please, my friend. Okay, no judge. Perfect. So our hand is ticking. Our Vulpix is alive. Our Chikorita is alive. So everything's working out nicely. And my opponent is already at almost 20 cards in the deck. Therefore, um, Charizard GX is going to put in the work here. Charizard and Rapier will put in the work. So my opponent decides to go for the Septile to have that ready and... To have that ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and burn candy into the meganium very nicely, and then with the meganium, I'm gonna get a swampert into play. Swampert is weak to set up, so we do have to be aware of that. Um, okay, so I might just end up using Ultra Ball for Shuckle GX. Uh, oh, yeah, Nine Tails will be good as well. Nine tails and shuckle checks will be very hard for my opponent to bypass. In fact, um, Meganium. Okay, what I really, really need though, I think, okay, so I'm gonna bench the uh, thing. What I really, really need is, oh, I can't bench the shuckle actually. Yeah, I need the second Meganium. That's the priority now. That is 100% the priority, and in case my opponent whiffs knockout, I don't expect him to. I expect him to have, he already has a Septile, so he needs energy, retreats, and takes a knockout. But he could Guzma and try to attack the Meganium. So because of that possibly happening, like I can't afford to lose prizes, right? I just, I really need a second Meganium. If I don't set up a second Meganium, I am going to lose this game. So that's what I need. Um... Hot cup of noodles. Do you think that Zorak GX paired with Zorak, Caesar GX with Zorak could work as a kind of okay to good matchup versus the standard meta? Uh, the issue is the two energy that Caesar GX needs in order to pull off its attack. Yeah, and the fact that its damage output is not that great. So, I mean, 
Zizzer GX is an okay card. There's just so many better um, pairings for Zorg. Yeah. Okay, so my Vulpix lived, which is awesome. My Vulpix actually lived, so I'm gonna use Quick Ripening onto the Mechanium. And now there's Merit too. Huh. Definitely don't need the Valplum line, right? Sudoodle is annoying for this deck indeed. Sudoodle should be very annoying for this deck. Um, I could set up another Swampert. I mean, I guess I don't mind the Vulpix going down. Really? What do I Ultra Bolt for though? I mean, what do I Ultra Bolt even? Um, okay, so let's Gladian. Mm, for the loose, I mean? Nah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go for it. So discard the Nest Ball and the loose, I mean? That wouldn't make much sense. Oh, the Nine Tails is in the discard pile. Okay. I kind of didn't realize that. Oh, uh, what's the other discard? I think it's Rhyperior. I probably won't need two Rhyperiors. Right, I have the other one here. I'm just gonna go for the other Swampert. I will use Quick Ripening, and then what do I discard now? The Rhyhorn. Right? I'm gonna discard the Rhyhorn. So at some point, I'm just gonna need to find like a Cerola plus as a Rainbow Energy to be able to cycle through Rhyperiors. And yeah, I think I'm gonna grab the Nine Tails now. And then hope to find a Cerola's. And that should create an invincible wall against my opponent. Um, he might be even be forced to power up the Lurantis, which would be pretty funny. Okay. I honestly had forgotten I had already discarded the Nine Tails. That's pretty good. Thank you so much for the tip. Um, we're gonna see Gladian, so no Guzma this turn. Right? No Guzma this turn. Which means no damage whatsoever. So another turn for us to just find Acerola into Acerola plus Rainbow Energy, and we're gonna see seven cards next turn. Just need to make sure that we don't deck ourselves out with the Suicune. There's one piece of the combo, definitely can't get rid of the Vulpix. And then I think I get rid of the Mr. Mime. Definitely not useful against Septile, which deals 7, 60, and 130. And then we see the Gladian. I think I'm just gonna go for the Stevens Resolve here. Just to get the combo started. So I'm gonna grab the Rhyhorn. I'm gonna grab the Rainbow Energy. And I'm gonna grab another Acerola. And that should start the loop, right? That should start the loop. I will um, Rainbow Energy, the Lele, Acerola it, and then use Rhyperior, and then next turn I will be able to do the same, and Rhyperior, and then eventually I might be able to use the Charizard. Potown is amazing. Why is Potown amazing? Isn't it the same as Rainbow Energy? Both work, right? Both work. The Rainbow Energy will always be safe-ish in my hand. Because Poton is more easily countered, right? I have control over the Rainbow Energy. If my opponent doesn't have Team Skullgrunt, then they can't do anything about it. And I'm pretty sure my opponent left the game. And yeah, Poton doesn't pick up Layla indeed. Um, well, I'm hoping I can hit one of the two super scoop ups, right? And I'll eventually, like my opponent still has 21 cards, so I will eventually draw the super boost energy. I will eventually draw the super boost energy at some point. So yeah, the loop would be um, quick ripening curve, interrupt here, 
And like, if I really need to, I could even Gladium for the third. Um, and my opponent can never bypass the nine bills. Um, so Potan would have also worked, I guess, but Rapier could have, could have gone down. Could go down as well, which is not the end of the world. We get the victory. My opponent just saw the nine tails and immediately conceded. Uh, does Cold Grunt just wreck this deck, Bird Boy? It does indeed if they catch your energy. So that is definitely something to take into account. Yeah. Um, because you wouldn't be able to use Charizard GX's attack anymore. Uh, but as Sir Panage mentions, um, you can pull down and lose. I mean, to keep uh, looping their right periods, right? So you do have outs, right? Because you have infinite pull downs as well. The issue is like using one turn for pull down, one turn. Like that's why you rely so much on the Mr. Mime, Shockle, um, Nine Tails, and Vileplume because you need to stop your opponent from doing damage to you. Yeah. You really need to stop your opponent from uh, rushing you. And I really like this deck, that's why I want to play once more before um, before we move on to the White Kieran deck, which is going to be completely the opposite, right? A super aggressive, super fast deck. I would like to go first, thank you very much. And yeah, that's also the thing, like Skullgrunt wrecks this deck, but what plays Skullgrunt, right? What deck currently plays Skullgrunt? The answer is pretty much no deck. Right? And the ones that do, they're also mill decks. So they will not apply any pressure to you. You should be able to set up and just continually. Um... Okay, so we see Escape Rope and two Guzmas. Um, you should be able to just continually um, right period their resources away much faster than they can get rid of yours. And you even have a known hand to just declare yourself the winner against those sort of decks. Um, okay, so pretty nice top deck here. I already have the rare candy and the ultra for the Meganium, so... I'm gonna Brooklet heal for the Mudkip. I might Lele though, I might ultra for Lele, that seems better. We're up against Macargo apparently. Definitely want the other Chikorita. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Stevens here. I'm gonna Lele for Stevens. Discard these two. I'm gonna Lele for Steven, and I'm gonna grab Meganium, Sunbird, and Stevens. Gonna grab Meganium, Sunbird, and Stevens. Stevens for Meganium, Sunbird, and Stevens. Is it Kyrium deck with Arceus? Yes, it is, MB. Yes, it is. So, Meganium, Swampert, and Stevens, just to keep setting up. Um, <laughs> thank you, IGATRB. Thank you so much for hanging out, and thank you so much for an amazing deck. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing the list. Pretty cool, pretty cool creation. I think a lot of Nightdales GX and one Switch are definitely um, big. Not big, but kind of missed opportunities in a way. Or things that might improve the deck just a little bit, especially the Nine Tails. Yeah, there's a Macargo. Now, Macargo's GX attack could be troublesome for sure, right? Macargo's GX attack could definitely be troublesome. Uh, we see a Cynthia, hopefully no Marshadow, so we get to keep our hand. Macargo's GX, if it hits the super boost, well, um, we won't be able to use uh, Charizard GX. So that's kind of an issue. Or it could be an issue, but it's literally out of our control unless we Stevens for the super boost to conserve that. Right? That could be something we actually like actively do. My cargo one shotting Meganium is also potentially an issue. <clears throat> I'm going to set up another Mudkip. And then. Um, power drawing away as Rescue Stretcher feels not great. So I might. I think I'm going to choose not to do that. Okay. So everything else is either findable or recoverable from the deck. However, we did price one Gladian. So this Stevens is actually gonna be like a defensive Stevens against a GX attack because Gladian gets me Charmander 
The super boost energy gets me Charizard GX's attack off. And then definitely want the other Meganium. So I can set up another Sunbird. And I always have two Meganium in play. If I lose a Meganium here, that would be awful, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Especially not when my opponent's powering up the active. Do you think hearing from Dragon Majesty is any good? You've been trying it out in your Quagsire Nagana little deck. Um, which Kirin MBB? The Kirin from Lost, the white Kirin from Lost Thunder, I think is pretty good. Which Kirin from Dragon Majesty? The GX one? Oh my, there's a switch. So we could see a knockout on the Meganium. Let's see a Choice Band, Nest Ball, or Ditto. Now nah, we're gonna see a draw card here. And a pass, okay. That works, and I don't think they're again, just in case, right? Just in case. Okay, so I think now my tradable card is a rare candy. Yeah, I think my tradable card is a rare candy. Non-GX Curum. I honestly don't remember what it does. I honestly do not remember what it does. Okay, so let's Gladian, why not? Definitely grab the Charmander here. Oh, the Valplum is also no. The Valplum is not important. Never mind. Gonna grab the Charmander. Double Lose. I mean, is also prized. Oh my, that's actually awful. I might have just misplayed. I might have needed to grab because then I can't lose. I mean, loop, right? I mean, I can use Swampert to take prizes. I guess if it comes to that, if it comes down to that. I could use Swampert to just try and free up prizes. That doesn't sound like a bad strategy at all. We see the pass. Um, so let's trade, let's power draw the Nest Ball. There's a Stevens, uh, Mr. Mime. Not very useful. So the out of the barrier Pokemon that we have, um, the Alola Ninetales is the better one here. I think I'm just gonna Stevens. Well, no, never mind. I can Swampert. I can't afford to set up as against Swampert. And discard this. We're gonna have to rescue stretchers. So let's set up the second Swampert, right? I might, I honestly might have to take prizes here. I might have to finish this game off by using Swampert more than the deck out strategy. And yeah, I have to hope for the no return KO indeed. So I'm gonna power draw the Ultra Ball. And then I'm gonna Stevens. Like at this point, you're hoping your opponent attacks you at some point, right? Uh, so definitely can't afford to lose a Lusamine, Acerola, and possibly want the Vulpix, I only have the Ninetales in my hand. I just, I, well, I also need to make sure I don't, he doesn't deck me out, so I might have to go aggressive here, actually. Oh my gosh. Goes for the judge. So now it comes down to randomness. I need to save the super boost energy though. There's a Macarlo GX, double Macarlo GX actually. Alban. Yeah, Macarlo's GX is I need to be GX attack. I need to be very aware of that. I need to be very, very aware of that. So I wonder if he's going to take a knockout or if he's just going to um like be chill here and use the GX attack. When I use Shintaro's deck, I lost to Macargo GX, right? When I use Shintaro's deck, I actually lost to Macargo GX. Okay, so it chooses to take a knockout. My Swampert is not safe here though. My Swampert is 100% not safe. I'm gonna gift him the Lele, I guess. 
Okay, so definitely want to set up the Vulpix here. And then I'm going to power draw first the Enhance Hammer. And then power draw the Nest Ball. Okay, so I have the Super Boost in my hand. That's good. Right? That is very good. I'm just gonna Stevens here. There's no way he has a judge already, right? So I'm gonna grab this Nine Tails. And I'm gonna grab. I think it's Rolla and Luz, I mean. Oh, the issue is I can't lose I mean loop forever. That is going to be very sad. Having to lose I mean surprise might be the reason we lose this match. Hmm, maybe I need a totem actually. I mean, as long as we don't have five cards and then he GXs us, if he uses it before, then we can use Suicon always to not deck ourselves out. Well, not always because of the Lusam. Darn it. Uh, my opponent might just judge here once again. We did have Acrobike. He can smooth over, plus instruct for the judge. Um. Hello, Kian. Why does Giratina Prism see no play in Malamar? Because it's a very costly attacker. Um, it's not easy to have two cards, like two psychics in your hand. It's weak to dark. Um, and Lunala Prism Star is just overall better, I would say. Oh, wow, what a hand. What a hand. What a hand here. And my opponent can just keep finding Guzmas now with the double smooth over my cargo. The thing is, if I attack him... If I attack him, I lose a super boost. Okay, so can definitely power draw the Oddish. This hand though. Uh, if I don't get the Alola Ninetales, it's gonna be a big issue. And I do get it, okay. I do get it. And I can Ultra Wall. Right? For the right period. Yeah, Snails is a mill buster deck indeed. So I'm gonna grab Rhyperior. I'm hoping to hit uh, Guzmas here. So, uh, quick ripening herb. That's three less cards. And then, definitely wanna use super scoop ups here. I flip heads, that's awesome. You think I win now? But my opponent still has Guzmas, so he can play around my... Right? He still has all Guzmas left in his deck. Why would they print this Meganium? To make stage 2's viable. I mean, you, you first need to get the Meganium out, right? I think I'm gonna lose Amin for 2 Stevens, right? And then I will pass. I need my opponent to not be able to attack me. This might be where he uses a GX attack. I think he might just go Guzma KO the right period here. He is run okay, so he chooses to use a GX attack doesn't okay he hit two acerolas oof two acerolas the charmander and the stretcher he hit two acerolas and the stretcher and two acerolas hurts okay i'm getting pretty lucky with this 
let's use quick ripening. I should not have played the loose, I mean, I think. Was that a Kuzma? Yes, that was a Kuzma. Okay, I'm gonna power draw once. My opponent can't attack my deck now. So, okay, they zero lies here, so I need their rainbow. I need the rainbow. I went shouldn't be able to attack my deck. He didn't discard the rainbow. Defense, yes. I need the pole down as well. Okay, there's a pole down, but I didn't get the rainbow. The rainbow energy is the last card in my deck. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm gonna have to stretch her here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can do this. So I'm gonna stretch her just to be safe. Oh wait, is this we comprised? No, I need okay, so I need to stretch her back. I need to stretch her back the Charmander. The Suikun. And I honestly don't know what else. I don't think it matters. Um let's go with the Vulpix. Okay, oh, maybe I should have done that next turn so I get the guaranteed rainbow. I can super scoop up. The thing is, like, I think I need to, my opponent is down to 11 cards, so I need to be able to do this with Charizard. Like, Charizard is guaranteed. Charizard is guaranteed. I might just use a rainbow to retreat the Nine Tails. Oh, this is gonna be very difficult. Here's what needs to happen. I need the rainbow not to be my, the last card in my deck. And I'm gonna attach the rainbow to the nine tails. I'm going to attach the rainbow to the nine tails. Oh, that's gonna be a Guzma. Probably after the right period, which saved me a bench spot. Not terrible. And uses up a Guzma of his. Because basically, this is why I want the switch. This is why I want the switch in this, because you need to be able to retreat into the Charizard immediately, right? If I had switch, I this would be game. If I had lose, that means I wouldn't be worried. So I need the rainbow. I need the rainbow to not be the last card in my deck. If it is, then I have to flip heads on Super Scoop Up. Um... Okay, so I think I pass here. Does my opponent have four Guzmas in this list? If he does, then he might beat me. Guys, I okay, I have the super scoop up, yes, but it's a flip. I can't try to win the game on a flip. Okay? I generally can't. And I also, like, if I bench the Charizard and then he targets it down, Okay, how many energy has he gone for? Eight fires so far. How many fires does this deck even play? Like, sure, I have the chance to win this game this turn. I think I'm gonna be patient, okay? I'm gonna be patient. I don't wanna rely on a 50% chance. I don't wanna lose the Charizard GX. Fire there, that's fine. Okay, there's a rainbow. Okay, so next turn I win. Okay, next turn I win. 12 to 14 watts or bandage. Next turn I'm going to win because I just retreat, evolve into Charizard GX, use the super boost, use the GX attack, and I win. Okay? Um, Henry, you're trying to play the Pokemon training card in real life. Do you need to play in smaller leagues in order to try the regional championship? No. I mean, it would be good for you to get experience in real life, but you don't have to do it. Definitely don't have to. Oh, 12 to 14 fire energies, indeed. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, and we have a Sorola even if he gets rid of the of that. Yeah, so I had to play very carefully, guys. I couldn't, I didn't want to risk. I mean, I'll play it, right? But if it's Tails, then it could have been really bad, yeah? I've lip heads, but 
if you can, you try to make plays based on the fact that you you don't rely on coin flips because they are not reliable, right? Even if you flip a thousand coin flips, they could be tails, right? So we end up winning, <laughs> barely, barely. We end up um, we end up winning. That was pretty cool. Um, really cool deck, busted coin <laughs> indeed. Um, flips one behind conservative play when ahead. Indeed, lethal damage. That is very good. Um, very good advice. Like. Unless, like, sometimes you need to take the risk in order to win the game, right? But I didn't need to in this particular situation, so why risk it, right? Why risk it? Um, Pepe Virgo, you called me lucky. <laughs> if you want to call what I just did luck, go for it. Um, so yeah, that will be it for Meganium, Rhyperior, Charizard, Vileplume, Thumpert uh, deck. Very cool to see um, such an innovative deck as well that has emerged since Meganium became a thing. And now we're gonna be moving on to White Curem that bubbled out of top eight at Harrogate Regional. So don't go anywhere guys, I will be right back in just a second.